Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of our Langrisser mobile series. And today is Thursday and on Thursday there's always some sort of update. Today's update however includes four new things, four new events that we should all try to take advantage as soon as possible because they're time limited. The first one and the most important and the announced one and teased in the in the patch notes is that uh, for a limited time period every Aniki training school, goddess trial and bonding realm will have one extra uh, daily reward to claim. This actually means that for example like uh, for people like me who actually also have the banner Aniki goes up to four daily rewards and goddess trial up to three daily rewards. This is especially important for Goddesses Trials because you are able to collect the Oricalcum Ore in addition to everything else and the increased chances at getting SSR items. That is number one and that's already pretty cool. Number two, uh, there is a daily reward event uh, that only requires us to log into this uh, website. So as soon as you click go a page will load and I will already have claimed the day one uh, reward but there will be uh, five rewards waiting for us with notably a lot of vouchers, Oracle Gum Ore and 700,000 gold. Like all of the rewards in this particular event are extremely useful and uh, for the low cost of logging in, well, we should all take advantage of it. Moving on, this is actually what we already talked about. Uh, for a long reserve first there is a repeat of a banner. This is a pure repeat of the Twin Princesses of uh, Consist. It includes Chelfaniel and Angelina as a uh, rate up banners. So if anyone is willing to wail on them so that they can get their dupes or even try their luck and see if they get their first uh, princesses, uh, that is a banner to roll on. And the fourth one and the reason why we all gather every single month is uh, Big Bros Gamble. And just like always, we have access to te uh, one free roll plus a follow-up of nine necessary rolls if you want to go for all the prizes. But as we know, some of these prizes we would be more than happy to skip. For example, the ten, the ten hammers, even the, the the vouchers or the low quality accessory. So uh, it is my, it is my interest to grab the skin and to grab the runestone. And normally at that point you have already gone through all the rewards because the chances to get the good things are actually very slanted. So it's it's not a 1 in 10. Please do not be fooled by the appearances. However, we are ready to roll. So let's see. Maybe we don't need to go all the way this time. Well, there goes the 10 hammers. One of the ones we did not want. Number 2, the sun. Hey, that's good. I'll take the ore. coin 300,000 I'll take it stuff uh, crystal ball not good I mean yes the accessory is good but getting the accessory itself is not good hello Dennis are you here to watch me suffer <laughs> uh, the 10 tickets okay this confirms that we got all the worst rewards all right uh, there is a particular scenario in which the star reward is actually not wanted and that is that uh, if I roll for all of these and for whatever reason the last one is the star, I certainly will not roll for it. But we'll see, maybe we just get it along the way like everything else. World! Runestone! Ooh, that's very interesting. Maybe, maybe we'll get the skin next. That would be crazy. You only did the free one and you got a runestone. That is amazing. Good job. Alright, there go the tickets. So our hopes of being somewhat cheaper this month are already gone. The wheel of fate is turning. An elven belt. Of all the possible insults, an elven belt it was. What do we have here? Wow, this is not even the skin. Oh, the skin vouchers are also still good. And finally, we went all the way through. My luck is really bad. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm a proud owner of my bad luck. Emperor it is. We finally got the skin. And my god, what an amazing skin it is. Um, so yeah. I, I want everyone to know 
that the chances to be cheaper on an event like this are very low, so if you go into it, be prepared to spend the 4000 crystals, internal crying, that it costs to get all the rewards. So as long as you're prepared, take some deep breaths, it should be fine to roll for everything just as I did. And what I wanted to obtain and that we get right here is uh, Bozel's new skin. It is excellent. Lord of Darkness. I I adore scythes. If they show anywhere in a game, I just have to have them. Here we go. Uh, yes, so if, if you are hurting for crystals, so you want to save up for other banners, it is perfectly reasonable to stop after three or four pulls. Um, I want everyone to know also that once we got the information from the Japanese servers, the exact rates indicate that the skin can only show up at the third pull as the minimum. So there is no way to get lucky with your free one, the first one or the second one. Uh, which means you at least need to get very very lucky, the chance is like 0.4% on your fourth pull. Uh, so be aware, the chances of you getting the skin are very low. However, if you have the crystals to spare, or if you really don't care about pulling anytime soon, um, feel free to go all the way through. Especially for the runestone, that's one of the most important things to get. Alright, this was the information for the uh, August 29th update. We're awaiting next month uh, with a lot of glee, as we'll get new characters and new things to look at. I believe uh, we'll get the new time rift and the new... Um, in Liana's class. That would be very interesting to see. So without further ado, this is it for today. Thank you all very much for watching and see you next time.